Today, I'm gonna be building a townhouse in Blocksburg. So I've always wanted to live in a townhouse, guys. So I'm gonna use these inspiration pictures off Pinterest to try and build my own. So with all that said, let's get started. So this picture is gonna be my main reference. So it looks like the townhouse is only about six long. And the thing is with townhouses is they're not very long, but they are so tall. Like some of them are like five floors, but I'm gonna do mine three floors for Blocksburg's sake. Then they do actually go back quite far. So I'm gonna make mine go back about eight and guys i'm actually not going to do the third floor like completely because in the picture they've only got like a tiny little room up here and then i think the best roof is gonna be this flower flared mansard roof i cannot talk so maybe with this if we pull it up a little bit i actually think that looks quite exact and then maybe we could do the same sort of thing on the middle one but anyway before we do too much on the roof i do want to add a little bit to the front because it's very like flat and because it's so short we can't really add like indents like this because it would just look a bit weird i think so instead i'm going to make custom pillars so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to get a basic cube and i'm going to flatten it down to look a bit more like a brick then i'm going to place one on top and I'm gonna ever so slightly resize it like this. Then if we copy and paste this on top of each other, look at how fancy that looks, guys. So we can have this and we can literally put it all the way along the front of the house. And as you can see, it already looks so much more like a townhouse. So let me connect these top bits and color the roof and stuff and I will be right back. And now we can get started on like the windows and stuff. So I'm gonna use factory windows because these just give me such townhouse vibes. So I wonder if I re size this and put it all the way down can I put like oh yes I can I can put a little thing on top of it and I want my townhouse to have white windows in it just because I feel like it looks a little bit more elegant and I don't know why I'm putting a window there guys this is actually where the door's gonna go oh look at that this is my dream house already then I think we definitely need a traditional door and oh my gosh that big one doesn't even fit we'll just have to use this classical one then and honestly guys I had to make this golden black door because every townhouse door looks like that I swear but yes, I love this so far. The only thing I'm a bit like, all about is this gap at the top. But I think that we can fix that with basic shapes. So maybe if we just make a really long one and has that fixed it? <gasps> yes, that looks a million times better. I'm also gonna add one of these in the middle section. There we go, I love it. So now we need to kind of do the sides because the front looks so elegant and then the sides look rubbish. But guys, to be fair, the sides of townhouses normally don't look anything like the front. So I'm actually gonna make mine a little bit Bit realistic by having some bricks around the side we're still going to use these fancy pillars don't you worry about that and guys i was thinking maybe for the side of the house we could have a window design that looks like this i'm sorry you cannot tell me this does not look so fancy i'm absolutely obsessed but there we go that's all the windows and stuff done on our townhouse then on the outside of townhouses they normally have like a bit of seating and then around the front and the sides i'm going to add this like brown grass color and this this is going to be like our plants and there doesn't need to be anything too special in here maybe just some of these bushes and then if you're wondering how to spice your garden up a little bit just color everything different shades of green but yeah i think this is looking cute for the front of the townhouse but to be honest guys i cannot wait to just jump inside so as you can see surprisingly there's actually quite a lot of space in here now i'm gonna have it mostly open planned i think but i'm definitely gonna put the stairs in first then what I'm thinking is over here is going to be like the living area, then the kitchen and dining room. So guys, I know I do this all the time, but I cannot help myself. I have to do a checkered flooring in this house. Like checkered floorings are my jam. I put them everywhere and that's all the flooring done. And then for the wallpapers, I'm thinking about having this wall paneling on top of striped wallpaper. And if you're wondering why I'm not putting wall trims up here, it's because it actually won't let me. The only other thing I could think to do is maybe try and add them custom. Oh my gosh, you can add them if they're custom. Okay, never mind what I was just saying. So I can't help myself but start with the kitchen. So as you can see, guys, I've gone for a very traditional fancy looking counter. So we'll have maybe the oven in that space there. Then along the back, we can have some cabinets. And of course, we've added an island because that is only acceptable in a house this big. And I'm actually going to use different cabinets. I'm going to use these ones because as you can see, they've got like paneling on them. So I think we need one for an oven. Then I'm going to pop one in here for a fridge as well. But don't worry, 
guys, although it's small, we're still going to throw in the most expensive stuff. But a small kitchen is actually kind of better, guys, because kitchens are really hard to fill up. But when they're smaller like this, it's much more manageable. So I think I'm going to go for like grey appliances. Now we're going to add the stools in. So in chairs, what ones do you think give fancy vibes? Let's search up stool and look at our options. Maybe these ones, guys, because these are like full chairs. And then I'm also going to add a little fruit bowl on the island. And then I'm going to add one of these like hanging pan things because I always feel like these look so cool in kitchens. But now we can move next door to the dining table. And I think rather than doing a round one, which you'd think would fit there, I'm actually going to do a rectangular one. So I do want a carpet for it to sit on as sort of its like base. That is a fancy carpet if I've ever seen one, guys. And then maybe we should use these chairs like so it matches with the island stool. And then instead of painting them gray, we can paint them white. And then I think just behind here, there's like perfect room for a bookshelf. Okay, so I've actually added two in and now it's time to add the books. And then after I put the books in there, I like to add some plants here and there. And maybe also because this is the kitchen, we could have like a rack of plates. And oh my gosh, that little bookshelf has added so much to this kitchen room. And also guys, I completely blanked when doing this. I forgot to add cabinets in the rest of the kitchen. And I might actually also add a hood over the oven just while we're here. And then we might as well add the lights and then this area will actually be done. And now we have the living room to do. So I'm gonna again put a carpet down. So I definitely already know that I'm gonna be using these sophisticated sofas for the reason that they are just so sophisticated and fancy. The clue is in the name. And then over here in the corner, we can have like the TV stand. We'll also go into the bottom and put like, what's this, an Xbox? I don't think it's actually meant to be one, but it looks like one. And then I'm thinking this coffee table can look quite nice. And these chairs are looking a little bit bland. So I'm gonna spice them up, I think, with some pillows. Then we'll have some books on this coffee table. And I think this living room definitely needs a big floor lamp like this. <gasps> that looks perfect, I think. And then maybe over here, just like a chest of drawers is needed or something. And guys, I'm actually just gonna pull these out a bit so they don't stick into the house. And as you can see, that looks much better, I think. So now really the last thing for downstairs is just some things that we can put in the entryway. So we all know what I like to put. I like to put umbrellas, hat stands. Then I'm actually gonna put a carpet that you can like wipe your feet on. And now the last thing before we go upstairs is to be adding some of these structural beams because these are really gonna transform this into the elegance that it deserves to be. That's, that sounded so inspirational didn't it guys and okay so I've added some final touches downstairs and now we can move to upstairs and guys we spent over a hundred thousand dollars on just this tiny space which goes to show how expensive townhouses can actually be but anyway I'm gonna go for a similar style upstairs and we should probably do the layout so I think the upstairs corridor should be thin like this and maybe as soon as you walk up you have a bathroom so we can have a bedroom here and then a bedroom here so for upstairs I've gone for a traditional looking door and honestly, the only thing I can think to add at this little window space is maybe just a chair looking out into the distance. <laughs> then there's not really room for anything along these walls because you have to walk past them. The only thing I think I could probably get away with adding is a mirror. And I think we should hop straight into the bathroom. First of all, let's put some tiles in here. And I'm thinking these bright white bricks. Bathrooms are actually where it gets really, really expensive. Because look, I like using this bath, but taste comes with a price, guys. $5,000 to be precise. Then next to it, we can have this expensive toilet. Then over here, we can have maybe the sink area. Area. So because this is actually quite a small room, we're probably gonna have to make use of the wall space quite a bit. And then the kind of things that you can put along this is like toilet roll, oh, toilia. So we'll plop this along here. And then also on the top here, we'll just have some soaps and stuff. And maybe even a little plant drifting into the sink then we definitely need a mirror for the sink. So we'll put that in there. We'll even put some towels under the sink just for extra supply. And then maybe a bathroom mat getting into the bath. And that is the bathroom done. And that's what both bedrooms are gonna be sharing. So let's move on to the first room. Now this is gonna be sort of like the guest bedroom. Doesn't need to be anything too crazy. So I'm really gonna bring this bed to life with the pillows. And guys, please comment if it also takes you like a thousand years to do this. Anyway, I've now grabbed some round ones so we can put Put them on the bed too. And I'm actually gonna change the wallpaper in this room. Anyway, there's only so much a guest bedroom can need. So of course they need a chest of drawers, but they're also gonna need like a wardrobe to put their stuff in. So we'll give them a couple of wardrobes. We'll add a little plant in the corner. So, you know, 
oxygen can go around their room. We'll put a couple of lights in there and I think that's that room done and dusted. And now is for the front room. And this room's gonna be more of a pink vibe. Whoever lives here is a bit tacky. So this bed's gonna be a little bit more simplistic. We're just gonna have some big pink pillows on it. Then we'll put the wardrobe over here so it's not taking up too much space. Then I definitely want like a vanity. I think that would so go with this style room. But anyway, on here we can just have some simple things like some perfume. Then over on this wall, we're gonna put some of my favorite shelves. Anyway, we then have a little space over here. So I'm gonna borrow this chair again and we can have a little reading area. And then the last thing I really wanna put in here is a big floor to ceiling mirror in front of the wardrobe. Then let's just add the last few lights in and guys, that is our townhouse done. So if we come out of build mode, oh my gosh, Look at this, guys. This is literally my dream. So first of all, we have this table outside and our lovely garden, which probably shouldn't jump on all the plants, actually. But as we walk straight in, you are greeted with just fanciness galore. First of all, we have the living room with gets really nice sunbeams. Can you see them, guys? Wow. Golden hour over here. Then over here, we have the dining room, which has room for six people. You can eat your dinner here. Or if you want to, you can sit at the island for maybe breakfast because we have a lovely state-of-the-art kitchen. This kitchen is probably my favorite part of the house. I'm not lying. Then if we head upstairs, we have a little bit more. So we have a lovely seat, which actually has a nice view, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. But the first room is this bathroom. It's very simple and small, but you know, it's a townhouse. It can't be too massive. Then next door, we have our guest bedroom, which has a very, very simple bed and simple wardrobes and stuff. Then here is my bedroom. If I lived here, so we have this big pink bed, the vanity, which... Oh my gosh, it's actually facing the right way, guys. I'm so shocked. Then our wardrobe and some more books and lovely, lovely windows. So that was my attempt at building a townhouse in Blocksburg. Please do let me know if you like the build or not. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this and I'll see you all next time.